Welcome back. It's been nearly two decades since Shenango Valley beat Shenango Forks. In other words, that's an eternity when it comes to high school students. As most of them currently on CV haven't seen the Warriors beat their crosstown rivals in their lifetime. But what's the saying from Little Giants? All it takes is that one time. That one time is trying to happen to on Saturday. This week's Game of the Week brought to you by Rocco J. Testati Incorporated and Dependable Auto Sales Services Incorporated. The Valley fans out in full force for this one, hoping this might finally be their year. We pick it up, no score in the second quarter, but Forks driving. Ethan Cook able to pound it in. That makes it seven to nothing. CV trying to answer less than a minute to go in the half. Trevor Hen Hennigy. Throws one up, but it's picked off by Jack Sherwood. The half ends with Forks leading by those seven points. In the second half, the large contingent of Forks fans looking for another score. The Blue Devils on the goal line for fourth and goal, but Kyle Halliday comes up with the sack. CV takes over, but it is still 7-0 in favor of Forks heading to the fourth quarter. Get your fingers up. In the fourth, the Warriors at their own goal line, but Hennigy scrambles and tosses it up to Zach Collins. That gets the first down. Later in the drive, it's time for Evan Treblecock finding Collins, and Collins takes it the rest of the way. The extra point is the only thing standing in front of us for a tie ball game, and that's how regulation would end with that extra point tying things up. We head into overtime and in the extra session. Both teams continuing to struggle offensively. First drive, Treblecock stopped by Forks in the backfield, but CV is able to stop Forks in OT as well. Number one. So we go to OT number two. That's where Forks finally gets it into the end zone. Isaiah Zimmer doing what he does best on this one, and that is moving the pile for the touchdown. It is now 13-7. to The Blue Devils then decide to go for two, and guess what? It's Zimmer again, and he gets it. That makes it 15-13. Are you following me here? The pressure back on CV. Valley answers. Hennigy tosses it up to his favorite target, Collins, and CV needs the two-point conversion to tie and send us into a triple overtime. They do not get it. Shenango Forks wins this contest for the 19th straight year in a row against their crosstown rival. Another spectacular game between these two schools.